you're a civilian, law enforcement officer, or military, you're not going to beat the versatility and the practicality of the SOCP folder. I've been training special operations soldiers since 1998. Over the last several years, my students and instructors have identified a need, a need for a concealed carry self-defense tool that can be used for lethal and non-lethal purposes. This need led us to develop the SOCP folder. From your G10 handle, the highest grade handle material you can have, there's three dimples, a unique clip designed for concealment, a carbide tip for glass breaking, the four and a half inch blade, every centimeter of this knife there's a reason for it if you're a civilian it will fit behind your belt so you can't see it so no one can see that you're carrying an edge weapon the clip is specifically designed that as you slide that in underneath your belt the clip is not going to expose so it's truly concealed as you're walking around i really like having one knife that i feel comfortable wearing everything from board shorts all the way up to more formal attire and the socky folder is great for that it has four different placements for the clip you can clip it either side at the hinge point or either side at the base Having the clip at the hinge point here, when I pull it out, it's already referenced in my hand. There's no adjustments that need to be made. When I hold this, I can use this as a good fist load. I can rest my thumb on top. I have less lethal options striking right here. The Model 722 Spitfire is a slim, versatile, easy to carry, smooth, one hand opening, wickedly sharp knife. The stylish aluminum handles come together to make one sleek everyday carry tool. The sturdy lockback design ensures safe use and is easily deployed with the thumb hole. Handles and spacers are CNC machined from sheets of T6 6061 aluminum. The blades and rockers are fine blank from coil stock 420HC steel, cleaned into bird, stamped with part number and date of manufacture. Parts are then put through our meticulous buck heat treat process. All the components, which include blades, rockers, handles, pocket clip, and fasteners, are assembled. The knife performance is verified. Knives are then edged and sharpened to perfection. The three and a quarter inch drop point blade is 120 thousandths of an inch thick, 420 HC stainless steel, straight edge or serrated, anodized aluminum handles, versatile pocket clip, 3.2 ounces, easy to carry, easy to deploy, made in the USA. Today at Sierra KT we're showing you the home front. This knife has a World War I vintage look and it's built for everyday carry. It's the first knife to feature uh, designer Ken Onion's breakthrough field strip innovation and here's how it works. While the knife is in the closed position, first push the front release lever up away from the blade side. Then spin the release wheel on the rear of the handle away from the pivot shaft. Once you feel the handle release, pull it up and away from the blade. There are no parts and you don't need any tools to take this knife apart. To put the knife back together, place the three components of the knife in their closed position. Press the handles together and spin the release wheel counterclockwise. You want to push the front lever down towards the blade and then make sure the rear wheel is tight and the knife comes back together. Overall, when assembled and opened, the knife measures in at 8.3 inches. The blade length is 3.5. The home front is also equipped with a plain edge AUS8, uh, AUS-8 stainless steel blade. When open, the blade is held securely in place by a locking liner for safety. To close the knife, slide the locking liner over with your thumb and disengage the blade. The handles are made from 6061 aircraft grade aluminum and it's a one position pocket clip that uh, is a tip up carry. With this breakthrough field strip technology you can purge it of mud and dirt at camp. If you're a soldier you can rid of it of sand in the field and mechanics can wipe it clean uh, you know, without having to return to the workbench to get any tools or anything. It's very useful while in the field and it's a CRKT first.
the LMF2. When you're looking for a fixed blade knife, LMF2 is where it's at. Drop point blade, serrated edge, really thick. Ergonomic to your hand, spike pommel. The LMF2 was originally designed to get air crew out of a down aircraft by cutting their way out or breaking their way out. Non-conductive handle, if you've got to cut wires, it's not gonna electrocute you. Designed with three holes so that you can create a lashing and actually create a spear with it. I'll tell you what, this was coming at you, you're in trouble. It wouldn't be right to have a heavy duty knife without a heavy duty sheath. This sheath right here has molly attachments for your vest, belt loop to put on your belt. Knife comes in and out both ways, even comes with a sharpener. So if you're in the field, your knife gets dull, get it sharp, get right back on task. Made in America, right here in Portland, Oregon. This is the LMF2.
The Buck Knives 112 Auto Elite elevates the 112 Auto to the next level. Upgraded steel, nickel silver bolsters, and extremely durable G10 handles give this knife a true edge over the competition. Choose this knife as your everyday carry tool where automatic knife laws allow. The 3 inch S30V stainless steel clip point blade stays sharper longer and is less susceptible to rust. Engage the blade with a simple press of a button. Once engaged, the blade locks back for safety. Press the lock down to unlock the blade and carefully fold close. Make sure to listen for the audible click when closing the blade to ensure the knife is locked in the closed position. Perfect to pack or belt carry, the genuine black leather sheath has been redesigned to avoid accidental knife actuation. Made in Post Falls, Idaho, guaranteed forever, the Buck Knives 112 Auto Elite. One of the most unique and distinctive features of the 737 is the laser etching on both sides of the S30V steel blade. What that does is provide very positive grip, whether you're using your bare hands or gloves, or if it's freezing cold or wet. Another feature is the way the handle starts from a narrow body and moves to a wide body. So starting at narrow for the smaller fingers and then widening for the larger fingers and the larger part of the hand. So regardless of hand size, there is an optimal position from the narrow body to the wide body expansion. It can be opened three ways. One is with the access lock. Another method is to use the thumb hole with one hand. And the last one is to use a two-handed method for rapid deployment. More contact equals more control. So the more contact you can have with the blade, the more control you'll have. So it begins by both hands coming together. And then once you have a good grip with your support hand on either side on the laser etching, you then remove the blade and turn the knife, pushing away from your body. And it keeps your other hand away from the front of the blade in the edge and tip or in the forward direction. So if you put all the pieces together, bring the hands together, turn the blade, and reposition the thumb to take advantage of the jimping and extending the handle to the blade. Although specifically designed for the airline industry to include military and commercial pilots, this unique folding blade can be carried by anyone who may have similar demands both on and off duty. If it meets the high demands required of a pilot, it certainly will meet the demands of everyday carry.